Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So much has been happening and going on. I am finally getting to let you in on what I have been working on or what has been happening anyway. Uh, if you have been following my projects, I am pretty sure or I hope you can remember the infamous Lake House project. After a few months of hard work, it was finally done. So I'm taking you behind the scenes of the photo shoot and showing you the final outcome. I decided to work with Jean Yoon again because he is an awesome photographer. If you remember my behind the scenes of a commercial photo shoot, you'll see him there. I also had Danny, my design assistant, helping me style and get this place set up to be photographed. She was also in my uh, Lake House install video, so if you guys remember her from there, she's back again. I was a little bit worried about the light outside, not illuminating the interior spaces enough and that the rooms were gonna be too dark. Given that we are now in the middle of November and the days are cloudier and shorter and all this stuff, but Jean said it was actually the perfect time to shoot so that there's no like overexposed areas. And he also had brought uh, his lamp. I don't remember the name of it, but it also casted like a nice brightness into the rooms and you know made it a little bit brighter i'll i'll ask him like what that name of the lamp was so i'll only have that link down below the first shot was the dining area and this is where the families can have most of their meals you'll see later how small the kitchen area was but it was a great opportunity i felt you know to enjoy the view of the lake Next up was a lounge area across the eating area. Please excuse the weird zoom in feature. I don't know what I did with my camera there. But to kind of make use of the area, I feel like this is the perfect you know, spot for them to hang out, relax, and enjoy the view. It may not look so beautiful right now with like it being gloomy, but let me tell you guys, during the summer, the lake and everything is absolutely gorgeous. Then we made our way to the two small bedrooms. Given the size of the rooms, we kind of had to squeeze in to get those perfect shots. I wanted to capture all the bedding, the artwork, ceiling light, and wardrobe storage solutions that we had for them. We didn't have to do much styling here other than that open wardrobe in one of the first bedrooms, which I'm obsessed with how we styled it. We, we were like, okay, we gotta make this place look summery and right in the middle of November. So I think it turned out good. After that, it was time to photograph the kitchen and I had purchased some cutting boards, some real apples and lemons for this area. And we also worked with what they had existing. They already had a couple of appliances and my client has great taste. So she had already styled the floating shelves with her plates and bowls and glassware. So it was just perfect. Moving on to the living room, we snatched a few pictures here and again, we didn't have to do much styling here since we already had the pillows there, artwork, planned, and we just kind of messed around with like the coffee table decor. And then onto the bathroom. I did buy a few accessories here. Baby's breast flowers with the vase and I found this cute little sponge from Crate and Barrel which I thought would be the perfect item to have in the shower niche and these two cute lotion bottles. They're actually not shampoo and conditioner if you guys notice. Last but not least was the master bedroom and I did not capture any uh, behind the scenes video on that. I think we were just really cold at this point. I, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but when we got to the lake house, there was no heater. 
and it was 30 degrees outside so we were like just in our winter jackets layered up and, but we were still cold because I mean there was no heat inside so we were just like all right we're almost done it is so cold in here guys um, there's no heat so we're all bracing through this coldness in the middle of November also, since this is a November shoot, we didn't photograph the exterior, so maybe we'll save that for another time. And also to show you the um, exterior like lounge features. But in the meantime, here are some amateur shots I took during the process. I'm really happy to say that this was such a fun project to work on. I'm sure the family like really enjoyed it this summer. Blood, sweat, and some tears were poured into this project, so I just wanna say thank you to everyone who made this project possible. Of course, my clients for giving me this opportunity. And that's all oh, my yeah. <laughs> So we just finished wrapping up the photo shoot. Everything went so good. Um, we're also really cold because there's no heater in here. <laughs> Not wait to show you guys the final photos. If you are not already subscribed, I would appreciate the support and give this video a like if you want to see more of these behind the scenes photo shoot videos slash styling videos. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or week and I'll catch you on the next time. Bye.